Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's Cece here. If you haven't already, please subscribe. That would be fist gig saying, please subscribe, join the family. <laughs> but today is episode 18 of our pregnancy journey and it's a special one because it's my baby shower day. <gasps> So excited and so grateful that um, I'm able to get together with a few of my closest friends in such difficult times and just celebrate something that's so beautiful that's coming around so quickly as well, my little girl. I've got other brunches planned with family because of course we have to do things in such small groups at the moment to stay safe. But today is with my best girls and it's actually a surprise for me. So my best friend Rax, Rax Star Nails, who's actually made me these insane nails for the shower i don't know where we're going what we're doing um but all i know is that i can't wait to see my besties and celebrate another girl <laughs> making it into our group so i'm just going to put these nails on ahead of doing like a get ready with me for my baby shower i'm going to do that as a separate video so this vlog is going to be all about bringing you along to the whole experience um and what I get up to this week is actually, I think it's a sleepover tonight. Well, it is a sleepover, but um, I don't know the plans for tomorrow or anything like that. Just gonna roll with it really. And you guys can join us for the adventure as well. So what I've done is I've just pushed my cuticles back filed the beds of my nails and then also given them a trim and a coat of nail hardener so this just strengthens your nails i'm going to let that dry and then i'm going to continue to use a nail file to just rough up the surface again just slightly and then i use this glue which is the elegant touch glue brush on i just brush it onto my nail and then stick on the the stick on nail easy as that just to quickly show you how i actually do it i just grab a little nail you can brush on the glue to your own nail or the false one. I like brushing it onto the false one. I just push the cuticle back and then hold it down for 10 seconds. And I find that these last for about two weeks. So um, you might get a ping off <laughs> every five days or something. I normally get like two ping offs within two weeks. And then once the two weeks is up, they'll slightly lift away anyway because they'll be ready to um change but you can soak them off if you don't want to kind of rip them off like i sometimes do how sick are they can you see they say like girl power baby girl <gasps> i think these took racks like six hours and i'm so grateful i'll give you a glimpse of me getting ready but as i said i'm gonna do a separate video for that and then we can get excited pack our bags and i'll show you some of my outfits that i'm planning to bring with me as well you know it's a whole event i need to change at least twice <laughs> i'm so extra i'm ready guys ready for my baby shower my friends just um arrived to pick me up to take me to wherever we're going um and i've done a little get ready with me on this look sorry i'm out of breath just run up the stairs that is already up on my channel so be sure to go and check that out it's a whole tutorial on how i created this look which i've called kind of like a pink tumnal look you know we've gone for pinky vibes for baby girl but at the same time it's quite vampy for full. And I have to say, I am really pleased with how it's turned out. So, oh, my dress is from Pretty Little Thing, by the way. Can you believe how much is popping? But let's go, I'm so excited. I might change into a tracksuit, actually, if it's a long drive. Let me see what the deal is. But um, yeah, let's go. Right, Rax is here. <laughs> Ready to show for me to my destination. <laughs> well, actually, I might drive myself, but we're gonna go up in my car, because. There's a lot of stuff apparently, and she's been filling my car up. I can't fill it in my Fiat 500. <laughs> Hun, we love your Fiat 500. Um, yeah, so we're off now. Oh my gosh, look what's just arrived. A baby bath and the crib. Kind of freaks me out a little bit. And the but... nappies. <laughs> oh, and the nappies, look at the nappies. Sorry, it's so messy in here. How cute. See you tomorrow, Daisy. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Girls only. <laughs> Including this little one. Right, where are we going then? Where are we going? Ah! Oh my goodness! <laughs> the pink house! Rox! This is like my dream place! Oh, I'm so happy! Oh. What do you think, little one? She loves it already. <laughs> I can't believe this. <gasps> the pink house! Like, 
the famous pink house where many celebrities and superstars and artists have filmed and the music videos and Vogue's been shot here. Like, this is my dream come true. I can't believe it, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is insane. This is like a wonderland. <gasps> oh my goodness. Guys, I'm in heaven. Guys, I feel so overwhelmed. I've been told <laughs> to stay in my room whilst they prepare some bits for the baby shower downstairs and a few more girls are arriving shortly. Um, but look at my bedroom. The dream come true. I am so lucky. I actually can't believe, I feel a bit emotional. I can't believe that this has been arranged for me and it's at my dream location. I remember saying like ages ago, I was like, Buzzy, if it's a girl, if we find out it's a girl, imagine how amazing it would be to have a baby shower at Eaton House. And it's really nostalgic to me because I actually came here six years ago when I started my blogger journey and um, met Amy who has basically created this mad and wonderful and beautiful piece of art ultimately um which in the form of a house inside and out it's just incredible so i'm gonna get ready now i'm gonna put a little outfit on take some pictures and um then get ready for the girls that are arriving soon welcome Hello. to your bedroom wow <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing isn't it oh yeah absolutely look oh. It's just Amazing! Oh wow! Now, this is, is going to ruin the look. Hide it behind something. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, this is incredible, though, isn't it, Mum? Wow! Yes, it is. We have the photo shoot in full swing. Michaela's here, my number one girl, and my mum, who I'm gonna give the honours to to <laughs> film some behind the scenes. <laughs> Guys, how insane, we're in the baby angel room, which <laughs> was made for me and this outfit. Like, it's a whole vibe. Me and Michaela are taking some amazing shots. I'm so excited to show you. And the girls have just arrived, so I can't wait to go and see them. They're just changing into their outfits. My friends are here. <laughs> yeah, why don't you put nothing a surprise and put this on? <laughs> over the top of that because that's the colour of the pink house okay yeah I'll and do this that this is the bedroom like we're staying in and it would look amazing you you like coming down into the whole girl Okay, so put this on. I've been told to wait in my bedroom, guys, again, because they're doing some bits downstairs. So I've got my second outfit on. Let me show you in the mirror. So my second outfit of the day. I look really big from the side. Really big, yeah. Wow. I'm waiting here whilst the girls are downstairs to know what they're doing, but... Oh, I've just got to lead you the way. Oh. I'm going to put this on. Just to... Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bedtime. It is bedtime, guys. Look oh, how my bedtime. cute this room is. 
Oh, it's been such a lovely day. Oh, it's been it's so lovely. It's so good to do. So Sorry, I'm going to take it away. <laughs> <Sexy. laughs> oh, I am well and truly worn out, like, and <laughs> spoiled and just overwhelmed. And yeah, yeah I'm going to have to just sleep for a week now. <laughs> oh, well, Mum, into bed with me. It's the first time we're sharing a bed in years. <laughs> What is that tug? I might kick you out if you're not good enough. No, I'm going to kick you out if you get annoying or snore or come too close. That's you. You're <laughs> water you always were. Oh, it's been an amazing day. I'm so overwhelmed, exhausted and grateful for my friends, my family and for Eaton House. They've outdone themselves with the hospitality. I'm so grateful. Mwah. Good night, guys. See you in the morning. Okay guys, it's the next day. It wasn't a dream. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am so like still in awe of like what happened yesterday and where we are today. Like it's just a dream come true. So a huge thank you to my best friends and to Eaton House again and just to anyone that's contributed towards this. Like it's insane. Like look at this. This is like a baby shower fit for the Kardashians, if you ask me. <laughs> well done, Rax. You Yay! smashed it. Honestly, this girl, she she's outdone herself, guys. I'm still wearing the same thing I wore yesterday in my heart life. <laughs> and we're probably gonna go and get a McDonald's again. <laughs> oh, oh, look at this cake, though. This cake is insane, and the cupcakes definitely devoured a lot of the brownies but this has been made by molly's cupcakes absolutely beautiful little feet <laughs> don't want to go home rax i don't want to go home either let's live here yes you cannot make me leave this place bye pink house <gasps> ah! <sighs> me and baby girl are gonna miss ya <laughs> Back in my Good grandma's up, garden. She's trying to get rid of me already. I know, I'm saying, I'm thinking about your midwife. Basically, I have a midwife appointment yeah. today, and as soon as I told yeah. grandma, it meant that she's counting down the minutes because she hates me being late for anything. <laughs> she's polished her cake off from the baby shower, so that was delicious, actually, wasn't it? Yeah. Really? So good. Got Justino here as well, he's and just I'm been going for our pictures. I'm in all the old clothes. Got her slippers on. <laughs> She's got her slippers on still. <laughs> We've just been going through the pictures from the shower, oh, the, showing Grandma the and Justin. Oh, I miss the house already. Oh, I miss the house too. Grandma and Foxy. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's little well, babies have died or bird box or up there. Have you been watching them alive. lately? Oh, they only produce Baby their young and then they go. Oh, so there's none in there at the to, moment. They're, they're, they're used the to sit there every day watching them. I did. Yeah, and then watching them feed them. So cute. Times there was like hey guys, so I'm back home now. Oh my goodness. I feel like I have like come home from a fairy tale. Well I have. It's just been the most insane like little couple of days ever and um I'm just going through all my presents. <gasps> Well, baby girl's present. She's very lucky and Fizzgig is very jealous, <laughs> but she's got lots of boxes to play with, so <laughs> she's not too upset. I'm just going to go through, sort things out. I will actually be showing you the presents that I've got from the shower. I just need to decide how to show you because there's a lot of stuff and I might include it in the nursery tour. Um, and when I do a video of everything I've bought and been gifted so far that's really handy, I might do a dedicated video to that. I'm just going through this now and I'll come back to you guys when I'm looking a little bit fresher. <laughs> I can't tell you how fresh I feel right now. I just had a bath, used a nice little bath bomb from Lush and it's just the perfect relaxation that I needed to top off my week perfectly. <laughs> but before I conclude this week's episode, I do have a couple of things that I want to say and address because in such difficult times, I totally understand that the nature of my baby shower may not sit well with some people. And I do have to say, firstly, it was arranged completely as a surprise for me, which I'm beyond grateful for. And of course, the rules are different in many places, countries, even counties. 
not to mention that they change so frequently. So if it was a day later or two days later in that region where the shower took place, it wouldn't have been allowed to go ahead. Because now I think in that county, they've limited it to only two households uh, being able to mix for dinners and gatherings. Whereas before that, it was up to six households on tables of six. And I want to reassure you because of course, I wouldn't want to break the rules or go against anything. Um, and neither would my friends or any, you know, reputable establishments. They actually, they set up a table and we staggered groups of five people coming in. So you may have noticed I had a couple of outfit changes. It went on for quite a long period of time. And we had two groups come in during that time and including staff, there were only 12 people um, and the two groups didn't actually mix. So I feel like that's important to say because I don't want it to look like I just don't care because I really do. And again, it was a surprise for me. I didn't arrange all the ins and outs, but it was safe. There was actually only four households that attended and actually five girls are from the same bubble. So I don't want to ignore that. I do want to address it because Oh, it does break my heart seeing so many people say, oh, my wedding's been cancelled or my baby shower's been cancelled or I can't believe that you're able to have a dinner with so many people yet I can't even have my husband into my scans. And I'm like, well, I'm in that position too. I don't understand how I can go out for dinner with six different households. In my county, I can still go out for dinner with six different households indoors um, at a time. So that's kind of crazy that I can do that, yet Buzzy isn't allowed in the majority of my birth until I'm literally pushing. It doesn't make sense, but we have to kind of roll with it and do what we're comfortable with. Some people would be really uncomfortable with the shower that was thrown for me. Some people are uncomfortable doing even what the rules allow you to do, um, of course, like going to a restaurant and perhaps going to some form of entertainment. Some people really don't like that and that's fine. And I do want to mention as well, in a work capacity, you're actually allowed to mix um, with many more people, up to 30, I think, for work events. Technically, that could have been classed as a work event for myself because Instagram is my job after all and uploading anything that's related or creating these vlogs, it is actually my job and I love it. But um, just because something's your job doesn't mean you should not be safe. So of course, I wanted to make sure that the guidelines were being thought of, but that's another thing that's worth mentioning as well. It's just crazy times, guys. And I thought it was really important to just be totally honest with you. Um, I don't want any of you to feel uncomfortable or disappointed or anything like that. We're all different and we all have different rules everywhere, but I just hope that we can stay safe and to still have a life that we can enjoy as well. Remember that mental health is so important just as much as our physical health. But yeah, I wanted to end on this note just to make you aware that I'm not ignoring anything. Um, but thank you so much for your support. And I'm sending my love to you all, whether you're pregnant or not, no matter what you're going through. I really, really do love you all and appreciate every single person that clicks and watches and shares comments or likes and interacts with each other as well. Really proud of this community. So I hope that we can keep it positive. And like I said, I'll be showing you everything that I got um, for my baby shower and everything I've bought for baby girls so far. I'm planning the nursery still, we're getting around to it. I'm just waiting for things to arrive. So hopefully that can be in the next couple of weeks, an episode of my nursery transformation and everything I've bought so far. The cribs are arriving, the push chairs are arriving, can't wait to review them for you as well and uh, let you know what's good, what's not. In fact, let me know what's good and what's not because I don't have any experience yet, but um, I can't wait to just get everything sorted and nesting mode, I think, is going to be well underway this week. But I can't wait to see you on the next one. I upload these every Sunday, so I will look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Love you lots. Mwah. Bye.